What is up guys, it is Lakeum here, we're back with yet another brand new truth video on the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the 667 movement speed build or process or whatever you pretty much want to call it. We're going to be taking a look at the gears, we're going to be taking a look at the gems and the steps that you should make in order to make this possible. So at this point in time, I believe that 667 movement speed is going to be the current fastest possible speed that you could be going at. Well, I'll be running you guys through what you should be doing in order to achieve that as well as the gears and stuff. So sit back, relax, and let's just jump right into it, shall we? So first off, let's talk about the things that we will need for this 667 movement speed build. First, we'll obviously need the Bard, and secondly, the Dracolite. The reason why the Bard and the Dracolite is going to be vital in this setup is because when you actually use the Bard, and if you use his ultimate, his epic rift that is, you will actually be able to obtain a 40% movement speed buff from one of his different melodies, right? So we're going to put this, we're going to use the green one, and boom, that's going to grant us a 40% bonus. So there we go. Now, the thing with this bonus is if you actually switch to a different class, the bonus will stay at 40%. So if we was heading over into the lava, with this bonus active, we will be able to obtain 115% bonus on your movement speed. Now, don't forget that in the delves, we have got the Path Painter, in which this Path Painter will actually grant you 60% movement speed on top of that 115, which tops it up at a max amount of a 175 bonus. Actually, 175% bonus based off of your base movement speed. So now that you actually get the gist of how this build works, we're gonna first talk about the Bard, okay? Nothing really matters on the Bard except for the fact that you actually have the class gem because it's going to increase the effectiveness of your bard songs which will make your ultimate basically either last a little longer, give you more movement speed and all of those mumbo jumbo. So that's it with the bard, simple. Just get your class gem on the bard, just get its ultimate on and you will be able to get that juicy movement speed. Now let's talk about the Dracolite right here, all right? So first things first, with the Dracolite, of course, you would want to get a full Crystal Force set for this to actually even work because a Crystal Force set will grant you 21 movement speed on each piece. I mean, other pieces like, let's say we've got like Crystal um, Crystal 2, which is going to be 18 movement speed. You're going to be losing like a little bit of movement speed here and there, but if you don't actually have a Crystal Force set, you can feel free to try it with a lower tier Crystal set, but you will probably only be able to get like, I'd say 640, 630 movement speed, somewhere in between in those lines. So, now that we know you actually need a Crystal Force set, the ally definitely has to be Avir because Avir is going to grant you 30 movement speed when you kill an enemy. And then after that, we've got the End Shadow Torch of the Saber Skull. You can pretty much just swap this out for the Nitro Chaser if you don't already have the permanent torch. And for emblems, this is going to be really important. Trailblazing is going to grant you 20 movement speed whenever you pop a flask. And the reason why you will need Chronomatic Emblem is because you will need to cycle to your ultimate just to use it. And it will grant you an additional 10 movement speed when you are at this big Draco. So, now... Let's talk about the subclass, shall we? Because some people might have a little bit of misconceptions. Now, the fastest is not going to be Lunar Lancer because Lunar Lancer is only going to allow you to get 15 movement speed. I know it's going to be a little bit more reliable for the buff in comparison to the Candy Barbarian one because the Candy Barbarian one is really, really RNG. However, the Candy Barbarian subclass will grant you 20 movement speed when you actually get the movement speed candy going in comparison to the 15 that the um, Lunar Lancer sub gives. So that's a five more movement speed buff from the Candy Barbarian in comparison to the Lunar Lancer. So yeah, we're going to be going Candy Barbarian nevertheless. So let's talk about um, the gems now. Okay, pretty simple. You're definitely going to need Vampire and Vanquisher because movement speed buffs, yet again, 20 movement speed additional to your base. And then after that, Pyrodisc is going to grant you 30 movement speed on your base. So, 
the total amount of movement speed that you can probably get as a base amount would be totaling up to a whopping 242. Just 242 base, just like that, all right? You can try to calculate it on yourself, but I'm gonna be putting out the calculations on your screen right now so that you guys don't actually have to do that. Now, on top of that 242%, we're gonna add that 175% bonus which is just going to take 242 multiplied by 1.75 and then adding that value to 242. It's going to come up to a total of about, I guess, 655.5. But the reason why this value is lower than it should be is because there are going to be some hidden decimals behind the movement speed amount. So you're at 112, right? It's not exactly 112, but they will just put it at 112 just for simplicity's sake. So it's already rounded up. So yeah, nothing much that we can actually do about it. So let me just hit on over into the delves and just show you guys how you can actually set it up. Although it's gonna be really RNG, um, make sure you actually get the Volcanic Vaults Delve Portal because this is going to actually give you an increased chance of the Volcanic Vaults Biome. And if you didn't already know, the Volcanic Vaults Biome will have lava or a ton of lava in it. So let's just hit on over and let's check this out. All right, so now that we're actually in the delve, let me just show you right off the bat how you actually get 175 bonus. Now we're gonna use the bot's ultimate twice. We're gonna switch on over onto the Dracolites. We're gonna head on over into the lava and put a Path Painter. So that's gonna grant us 390 movement speed or somewhere along those lines and 175% bonus, which is definitely going to be, you know, the thing that we will need. So that's basically how you get 175% bonus. Let's now take a look at how you can actually get that 667 or at least try to get it. Because as I've said earlier, this is going to be RNG, like really, really RNG. So not all the buffs will actually proc at the same time, which is the hard part about trying this out. You might take like 10 tries to actually get everything done. Just make sure that you enter a delve with a decent amount of mobs in the rooms so that you'll be able to get enough chances to get that Pyrodex going, getting that Vampire and Vanquisher and the Candy Barber and Sub, which is going to be the main problem when it comes to this build. Now I'm going to switch on over onto the Dracolites just to wait for us to cool down and then we will be able to pop the Floss. There we go. I'm going to get the ultimate ready. Yep, there we go. We've got the power disc. We're going to go into the lava right here. And we've got 667 movement speed, which is just going to be perfect. Now, I can't exactly show you guys how quick it will be moving at, but I have got a clip of me moving at 667 to 612 movement speed. I will show you guys that clip in a second. Um, it's not really going to be too game-breaking, I guess, because... Lag is going to play a very, very big factor when it actually comes to this build because, you know, Trove, Trove is just super laggy. It's just going to be really hard to just move in a straight line at such a quick movement speed because it's Trove, right? There's nothing that we can do about it. So yeah, essentially, that is how it is. Um, nothing too much else to be said, but if you'd like to try this, um, just don't give up. Just don't give up because it's definitely going to take a while. It's going to take a while for you to proc all of the ultimates and movement speed abilities and stuff like that. So I guess I hope this video has, you know, made you entertained enough to actually try this out on your own. If you're bored in Trove and you would like a, you know, little bit of change of pace, then feel free to try this out. If you know any other methods that can actually grant you up to 700 total movement speed, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. But I want to know ways to get that movement speed without cheats, all right? Don't tell me, okay, you can just use uh, hacks to get a thousand movement speed. I don't want those kind of things. Get those out of my face. I want to know about real in-game stuff that can actually get you there because I'm interested, to be honest. I want to see whether you guys can actually come up with a new process that can beat this 667 movement speed build. So I guess that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I guess I will see you guys in the next couple of videos. I might be making the Bard speed farming video in the next couple of days because I have just got my Crystal for Fist and I have just maxed it out on him. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a really, really entertaining video. But until then, I will see you guys in the next couple of videos. As usual, peace out.